Another day, another story in the saga of EA's shitty antics. EA isn't exactly known for garnering the gaming community's goodwill. From the way they serial kill one studio after another, to the way they ruin potentially great experiences with loot box systems that teeter on pay to win, they are far and away one of the most despised game publishers among gamers. But consumers aren't the only ones who have expressed similar sentiments. We have heard various developers who have worked with EA be outspoken about how far the company is willing to go to make an extra buck. The latest story comes from renowned game designer Edmund McMillan, best known for his work with famed titles such as Super Meat Boy and The Binding of Isaac. During an interview with YouTube podcast Bear Taffy, McMillan made allegations regarding why plans for his zombies creator George Fan was laid off by EA and PopCap a few years back. For those who aren't familiar with the story, it all began on July 12th, 2011, when EA announced that it would be acquiring PopCap Games, developers of titles such as Bejeweled, Peggle, and Plants vs. Zombies. The acquisition deal was for $650 million and $100 million in shares. Only a little over a year after the deal was signed, on August 21st, 2012, PopCap announced that it would be laying off approximately 50 employees, among them being senior game designer and creator of Plants vs. Zombies, George Fan. At the time, the layoffs went completely unexplained, and what stuck out to many was that the layoffs happened only a day after Plants vs. Zombies 2 was announced on August 20th. I mean, honestly, who fires the creative force behind a successful game series a day after announcing a sequel, and why would they do such a thing? Well, Edmund McMillan provided his own clarifications on the matter during his recent interview. Here's a transcript of what he said from website Multiplayer First. You guys want to hear an industry story that has to do with EA and an independent developer? This is a semi-unknown story, and I hope I'm not stepping on toes with it, but I know I can, as long as I say it like a slightly fuzzy on the details. It involves a friend of mine, George Fan. So George made a game called Insan Aquarium. He made it ages ago and it won a lot of awards and he got headhunted by PopCap. And PopCap hired him, set him off with two more people in a small office and said, hey, make the game. And he's like, okay, I'm going to make Plants vs. Zombies. And he made Plants vs. Zombies, it was hugely successful, and they got acquired by EA. EA made that game even more successful. And they were like, okay, we're going to focus on this and we're going to make a sequel, we're going to do spin-offs, this and this. And George was like, great, I've got an idea for a sequel. And he developed this game independently as well, with an independent mindset with a small team of people. It was personal. Knowing the guy, I can see the characters are personal. Every little bit and pieces is something from him. So it was his baby. And they're like, hey, you know, let's make this sequel, start on the sequel, and we're going to put it on mobile, and we're going to do this pay to win. And he's like, uh, I don't know, it's not a good idea, and I don't really want to do that with my game. And they said, you're fired and he left. Yeah, if that doesn't sound like EA to you, I don't know what does. While nothing is 100% confirmed yet, stories like these do fall in line with EA's past history of sending anyone who doesn't conform to their greedy practices to the chopping block. We'll probably find out more details soon anyway. When website IGN reached out to Fan for a comment on the story, he replied that he was going to release a brief statement tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled. For now, all I'll say is that assuming Macmillan is telling the truth and I see very little reason for him to lie, this will hopefully give developers considering a partnership with EA one less reason to make a deal with the devil. Because this is what EA does time and again. They promise all the prosperity in the world for game developers, but before you know it, after they've fattened you up, once they find no more use for you, they'll claim what's theirs and consume your flesh and soul before spitting out the remaining husk. Fortunately for George Fan, he at least seems to have landed on his feet in the years following the layoff, currently acting as an independent developer and working on a brand new game called Octogeddon. But it's still a shitty thing to have happened, assuming that Macmillan's allegations are true. For your successful creation, your baby, to be ripped away from your arms by a corporation, to be used for their greedy implementation of predatory and exploitative practices? Yeah, it is all kinds of fucked up, and unfortunately, not all that uncommon in the entertainment industry. Anyway, we'll probably hear more about it tomorrow and perhaps in the days and weeks to follow, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on any noteworthy developments. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. 
I hope you found this video insightful, and if you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. All contributions will go towards helping this channel remain 100% independent and self-sustained. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.